Um, leader, um, decisions are made by government departments, particularly with respect to pensions, and I know my colleague uh, Senator O'Loughlin is deeply concerned about what I'm going to speak about now, and that is the military service allowance, which is pensionable today, but at some stage a decision was made that those who uh, were the early um, recipients of military service allowance that wouldn't be pensionable and some sort of a deal was struck. Now, this is not the first state organisation where something like this has happened. In the case of the Gardaí, there were a number of Gardaí who had retired many years ago and uh, were not allowed to carry their pensions forward. We also have the issue of pension abatement, which, which originally designed to stop high-paid civil servants retiring at, at the financial crisis and coming straight back into uh, the department uh, that they were working in or another department with a massive pension, a massive lump sum, and back into to, uh, a serious salary. But a private soldier retiring, a corporal, a sergeant retiring from the Defence Forces after 40 years, if they get a job in the public service, the chances are they lose their pension. Now, we have two court cases in this state that were, went as far as the Supreme Court, where a pension was declared to be a property right and could not be touched. One was a prisoner in Mountjoy Jail who had a contributory old age pension. State said, you're a prisoner, no pension. He said, no, no, I contributed to that, it's mine took the case, went to the Supreme Court, and his pension was his. The second was a cabinet minister who went to jail. And there was uh, an attempt to take, well, he wasn't a minister when he went to jail, but uh, the, there was an attempt to take his pension, and he uh, successfully fought through the courts. Pension is a property right. So it is my contention, and I think uh, Senator O'Loughlin will agree with me here, is my contention that pension abatement is illegal, it is theft of a property right. If they don't want to pay those pensioners from the Defence Forces and the Gardaí, who are the ones most affected by it, if they don't want to pay them a, 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 some sort of a benefit, I suppose, from getting a second job because they're forced to retire at 50 years of age in most cases, and they come back into the public service, if they say you can't come back in and have a full salary, fine but you can't touch a pension. A pension is a property right, and all of us in this house depend on our pensions when we, when we reach a particular age in our lives. And it is simply wrong. Let's be honest about it. A, a private soldier, a corporal, a sergeant, uh, right up to, uh, I suppose, the rank of colonel, the pension isn't that fantastic. And they talk about the golden pension public servants have. That's a long time gone, so it is. It was hammered in 96, it was hammered in 2011, 2013. And the way things are going now, young men are joining the forces, commissioned officers are joining the forces, get a trip or two overseas and leave. We have to stop the theft of pension and we have to return the military service allowance to those who had it. It should be part of their pension. Thank you, Carhirlock, for your I mean, forbearance. Thank you, Senator.